Hey, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about using PLSQL with a Oracle database. And I'm going to be showing you some PLSQL scripts that I've written to create and test triggers in our database. Now, a trigger is a procedure that runs automatically when some condition or event happens. And that's typically in response to like a insert, update, or delete SQL statement. And it could also be from a create, alter, or drop. But today uh, we're going to test the trigger by um, using update. And what this particular trigger is going to test for us is you can see this is um, an ERD for a video stores rental program. We don't see too many of these around these days, but this will work as a good example for us to, to show how a trigger can be used on an Oracle database. And what we're going to check in this first trigger is how many days late a rental is. So if it's turned in before or by the due date, it, it won't be late at all. But if it's returned after the due date, well, we're going to calculate how many days late it is. And in the next trigger, we're going to use that, how many days late it is, to calculate the member balance. So it may be two days late, and it may cost them $3 a day for every day it's late. So we're going to update their balance by $6, adding $6 to the balance if they turn it in late. So they'll have to pay it you know, next time they want to check something out. But anyway, this first trigger is going to just find out how many days late a video, is, a video is when it's turned back in. So let's look at the code that I wrote for this trigger. Now first we're going to create the trigger named trigger late return. It's going to be a before update, so before an update of the detail return date or detail due date on the detail rental table. And this is a row level trigger so we have the for each row and I'm gonna declare a couple variables that we're gonna use in our if else if here to check uh, for a value and what this is gonna do is find out for us the times that these that the video was checked in and when and what the uh, the late rental time is so the when the video was turned in and when it was due by and the interesting here is these first two basically just check if it's uh, been turned in on time and if if it is nothing interesting happens but if it's turned in late then we're gonna get a new value for this new detail days late and that value is gonna be the turned in time minus the time it was supposed to be turned in so we can find out how many days late it was and that value is going to be saved in our detail rental table automatically for us whenever an update is done on one of these two columns so let's go look in SQL developer if I can find it it's you can see that I've, I've already run the script for the trigger trigger late return so it's it's there and it's ready to go and I wrote this little script to test our trigger and you can see when I run this this will all be clear I just have uh, a little bit of output to show us the query that's been run and then we'll be able to see the results it just makes it easier to look at what's going on so let's run this this test trigger or this this uh, SQL statement to test our trigger and look at it and the first thing we're gonna we're looking at is just a video that's been that's checked out so this is the query that's been run and this is the information from that query so we can see that the return date is not set it's not late yet so this video is checked out currently it's due on the 5th of March so the next thing we're going to do is the customer brings it in and checks it in, but he checks it in two days late. Now check it in in two days late is going to trigger 
the statement that I just showed you, which is going to find out that it's two days late. And the next time we run this same query, we're going to see that it's been checked in, it's been returned on the 7th of March, but it's two days late. And that trigger set this value for us automatically. And then the other one I'm showing you is just that nothing happens. Well, the details days late gets uh, set to zero, but when it's when it's checked in on time, it's checked in. This video, this particular video is due on the fifth, and it was checked in on the fourth of March, so it's not late at all, and it's going to be zero days late. So that customer is not going to have any late fees associated with his membership account. And the other trigger I want to show you is a little bit more interesting. This one is going to calculate the late fees for us. And it's going to be called trigger member balance. This is an after update of the detail due date or detail return date on the detail rental. It's another row level trigger. And we're going to set up a couple more variables. You can see we're getting the data type of the variable from the tables. And we're going to do a little query here to get the membership number, which we'll need later. And we're going to find out if they've had any late fees before. And in the end, we're going to have figured out if the late fees have changed. And if they have changed, then we know that we need to update the member balance. So if there's been a change in their in their member balance, then we're going to update their member balance. And this would happen if they've turned in a video late. So like in the last part, we saw that the member turned in a video two days late. And that's going to automatically trigger this to update their member balance by how much, however much that late fee is. So if it's two days late and the, the late fee is $2 a day, their balance is going to be updated by four bucks and they're going to owe an extra four bucks on top of whatever they had previously on their member balance so let's look at it in SQL developer um, again you can see that we already have I've already run the script for this trigger mem member balance and I'm going to test it over here this is just like the other one we saw just some output showing us what statements are run and then we'll see the output of running the statements so let's run this and look at what's going on here first this is the same video from before it's currently checked out and it's due on the 5th of March and just a couple other queries just to get some more information this one's not important right here but this one is important we can see that this particular member has a balance currently of eight bucks so right now he's got a video that's checked out and his balance is eight bucks so now he comes in and he turns his video in on the 7th of March but it's due on the 5th and you can see that our tr our that first trigger has run and set the detail days late to two two days late and our other trigger is also going to have run automatically for us and it's going to update the member balance to 14 previously it was 8 and the reason it's 14 is because 3 times 2 is 6 so when that member turns in that video late the first trigger is going to make the details date late go to 2 and the next trigger is going to find out what that members balance is supposed to be now that he's turned in something late and that's pretty much it. That concludes a quick overview of PLSQL triggers. Thanks for watching.